Hello friends and welcome back. Today we are going to go over the installation of our bees back in spring of 2020 with some video to hopefully help you install your hives. One of the new things that we did this year when installing is instead of using smoke, we actually used sugar water. This helped to wet the wings of the bees and prevented them from flying around as much. So here this white cage is the package of bees. The first thing Rob does is take out that can. The can has the sugar water or the feed that keeps the bees alive as they are transported up from Georgia to New England. Then he removed the queen cage and attached it to the frame. And then we move over to the second hive where he's going to remove the can, again the feeder. He's going to use pliers to take the queen cage out. And when you're done, always cover up the top so that the bees that are inside the package don't fly out. This year Rob used the drop method where essentially you just shake the bees out of the package and put them into the hive. And while this worked, uh, the bees got a little, they weren't too happy with it. And so in the future, we will not be doing this method. One thing that we also did is we got our hives in very early May where it was still a little bit cool out here in England. And so we did cover up our hives with insulation, and this is just to prevent wind, rain, things from getting inside while the bees are acclimating to their, their new home. One important thing to note when using the insulation is to make sure that the insulation is not covering the hive entrance in any way so the bees have an easy way of flying in and out. This is what the inside of the hive is. Here we have happy little bees flying around getting acclimated to the new hive. The last thing I'll leave you with is this is just a shot of our bees covered in snow in the winter. This is our nook hive that we got last year. Both the packages that you just watched get installed uh, did not make it through the winter. And so uh, we try again this year, but we are anxiously awaiting to see if this nook happens to make it through the winter. But don't worry, all those bees that didn't make it are being turned into jewelry, which we'll be showing on our website in the next coming weeks. So stay tuned. We love you. Happy beekeeping.